It's time for the Mind Crack Podcast, episode 137. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Mind Crack Podcast. Today, we have the normal badge. Oh, I do look particularly orange at the moment. You do. You do. I think it's the green in the background isn't helping. Uh, we also have Good. Hi. We have Pyro filling in for Hi. for Co. And Hi. we have Guest Arcus. Hello. Hey, Hello. how guest you doing? Guest me and Guest PC. Ooh. Look at that. Look at this, guys. It's all new. <laughs> Hope you can see this. It's very exciting. Great. There you are... buy a case for it. I forgot to buy a case for it. It's probably <laughs> a bad idea. There are rumors going around that he was offered money on Twitch to put it in a KFC bucket, and he declined. Oh, that'd yeah. be awesome. Or a pizza box. Either way, I should get twenty dollars. Twenty dollars at stick, and he declined it. You should have hung it from the ceiling. Have you seen that? That those pictures where the guy built a computer and just the whole thing is hanging from the ceiling, like the hard drive. It's just no. It's like a chandelier. Oh, yeah, basically, that. basically. Some, some people pin them to the wall they, with nice, neat wiring and stuff. Like no, like this was one. totally ghetto. This wasn't like you know, like you see <laughs> desks that are really fancy. It wasn't anything like that. It was all like fucking kite string and just hanging from the ceiling. And by the end of the album, the um, the the what the hell is it called? Uh, acoustic tiles. They all collapsed and everything was on the ground and just a pile of rubble. So it, it didn't even work out. Good plan. Good plan. So, yeah. yeah. I like those ones, Badge. The one with the, they're like paintings up on the wall and they're all stuck together. All the mm, parts. Yeah, in a frame. Really nice. Yeah. Or, or deep, um, deep desks with a glass top on them. Mm-hmm. I always feel like those desks when I see them would be loud as fuck. You see them, they got like forty-two yeah. fans all pointing at you. It's like you get a blowjob, you know, not a not the, the sexual kind, but from your desk every time you power on your computer. It's like I don't know. I think it's a little too much. Those things I think are impractical. I, yeah, I don't think I would like the airflow around me whenever I'm sitting down. Like even I, I think I've never be really loud, right? Yeah, there's some people that I know like that enjoy fans pointed at their feet. Or like fans pointing at their face at a desk, I can't stand that. No, no, especially I mean, well, with, with what we do, it's kind of impossible, right? You got a microphone, yeah, a you can't point. have it right in it. Yeah. So, yeah. Sometimes the it's AC fire. is too much, and you have to turn that up. <laughs> Badge, I feel like you're trying to become more orange. You're just a Cheeto. <laughs> Jesus Jesus Christ. Why are you so orange? <laughs> I don't know. Like a supply drop. A supply drop. It's like, oh man! And now you have these lights going, and every once in a while, it just gets oranger. Get back to hooker. I'm super warm. Actually, hang on a sec. We're gonna take my top off. That might help. Oh, yeah, you're wearing oh. fucking traffic going right now. Oh, exciting! <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna compete with you over here. One second. Well, do, 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 do. You're gonna get naked too. Oh, you're gonna get orange as well. Yeah, it didn't really work out so hot. I thought it would be. That would be more. Yeah. Better. <laughs> now you look red and now you look like you've been drinking <laughs> he is drinking <laughs> drinking oh man great substance, so guys. uh this weekend is pax it is pax we're doing a booth it's, it's oh, crap. Be there chad i'm gonna be there you keep i am going to needle you until i feel comfortable or better about it i you know last wow. time i recorded a video um, on the seven days to die server and you are so whole, salty like about this entire 40 convention. minutes of pure salt <laughs> i tried to get all my stress out you know i'm really i'm really salty about um the fact that only nerd fusions on the map and sev is taking it like i'm hating on him about it because i know it's not sev's fault but i keep like people keep tweeting me asking me why why don't i see minecraft on the map oh i see nerd i see nerd fusions booth but i don't see minecraft <laughs> And so finally last night I tweeted out like I just wish seven is can make them fucking put Minecraft on the map too. And uh <laughs> Seb texts me, he's like, you know, you know I've been trying, you know we've been talking about this. Why are you making it my fault on Twitter? I'm like, I'm not motherfucker, I'm just bitching about it because everybody's fucking asking me why the fuck we ain't on the map. And I'm not gonna ask answer them all individually. I'm just gonna tell everybody it's fucked, goddammit. Do you think like people thought that you might make a conscious decision to hide our name from the map? Why would we do that? <laughs> exactly. No, I think people, it, you know what? It reminds me of our party at Minecon. We spend, you know, 60 fucking grand on a party at Minecon, and then none of our signage arrives. So half the people left that party saying, 
that's a that's a decent Twitch party, but it was weird they were back there in the back. You know, why did you switch <laughs> some signage up front at their party? And it's all because we didn't have our signage didn't arrive, right? And so, like, I'm so fucking tired of spending fucking college salaries, college salaries, college, college tuition amounts of money, and then not getting our name anywhere. Like, fuck. Anyways, that's how I feel about that. It just, I don't know. I don't know. It just bugs the shit out of me. Like, and here's the... Here's the trivialist or pettiest or whatever of it all. All I wanted was to take that fucking book that comes in the bag and frame it with us on our first big boot. <laughs> you know, and get, a, get a cool little frame of, of a little, you know, have it have it in the office hanging on the wall with all the other shit. And uh, now the fucking the word Minecraft's not even on it. So there ain't no point in that. <sighs> well, cop, cut and paste one together. Yeah, uh huh. I've thought about that, and you know, and you know, and you know, they printed, they printed all these signs for all the round packs. That was another thing. Get a picture in front of that with your name on it, but the name's not on it. So, get a sharpie out. Packs Prime, yeah. right? Packs Prime. There's always the next packs. Like well, that's yeah. the thing. You know, this was kind of a test, right? This was a test of the emergency Minecraft system, and <laughs> um, the thing is, I don't feel like I don't feel like we're gonna be able to gain a lot of knowledge from this test we're not on the map so people don't know where to find our booth <laughs> um i mean in the guidebook technically in the list of exhibitors so if you go and read the index um you can find us <laughs> Frame by that. that's what everyone everyone at pax gets this <laughs> back with oh well you're in the index Thank you. yeah i know i'm in the index thanks but i paid the same amount of money that the company that's listed paid and again i don't want to i don't i feel like every time i bring this up it's like that nerd fusion got listed, but it's not no. them. It has nothing to do with them. This is all Reed Pop and Penny Arcade. This is all their, they just didn't list both companies. I think they thought it was one company, Nerd Fusion and Minecraft. The nerds that break brains or something. I don't fucking know. I, I, not, I find not, myself in a similar position quite a lot, where it's, where it's a thing that is the principle of it and it pisses you off, but you can't really moan about it because it's not big enough and it's like you start sounding petty. But it's pissing you off because it's something you've worked towards and it's not working. And it's like, you got to get that back. And then you get accused of being grumpy or bastard. Right. Right. I, I, feel like, I feel like as I talk about this, that's just what I sound like. It's like, well, you got a fucking booth. Be happy. It's like, well, yeah, but I, I mean, we paid buddy for the booth. It's not like they were given a booth and we should be like grateful or something. We spent the same amount of money as anyone that's on the map. I want to be on the fucking map. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wanted, I wanted nice posters too. And, uh, just I just couldn't get our art, man. I, I need to I need to I guess I need to be more organized and not let our shit be in multiple hands and make sure I have a, a, a hard copy of everything because I didn't have our art for our poster cards and I just couldn't get it in time. So I got posters. They got they came in the mail today actually. This Exclusive. Oh, wow. <laughs> they look good. Not, nice and shiny. I'm just not as happy as I could be. How many did you buy? Resize them. I got a thousand of them because here's the thing. You can buy. You can buy two hundred and fifty for three hundred dollars. Yep. Five hundred for four hundred dollars. A thousand for four hundred and forty dollars. It's yep. like, um, but I had to pay almost six hundred dollars in shipping to get them here in time because I just didn't Why didn't order you ship in time them to the because, house. Because I didn't want to ship a thousand fucking posters to packs, so or I'm only going to sell fifty. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. See, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how many posters I should bring. I think I'm only going to bring like thirty. Yeah, like based on our t-shirt sales and stuff in the past, we won't sell like a hundred posters. I don't think. No. I think a hundred would be in three days. I think a hundred is very generous. But this box, this box right here, it's two hundred and fifty. I don't know what it weighs, but I was th I, I basically got four of those boxes. I was thinking about just bringing up one of those boxes, basically, yeah. and just put it in a suitcase. So, but I don't know what it weighs. I got to weigh it to see because it might be fifty pounds on itself, which would be suitcase weight. Limit. Paper's heavy. Yeah, I know, man. I know. Yeah, that's the reason why I don't want to be stuck in uh, Texas with thousands of posters. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but, uh, I know. But uh, yeah, Sev's there now, setting up our booth. Um, and well, his, uh, his booth. <laughs> 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 Fucking Sev. We get there, and there's it. All, it only says Nerd Fusion, and then there's a little poster on the side that says Index, and Nerd Fusion and Minecraft is both listed <laughs> on that. Booth. It just says well, big sign says Severus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like at at um, at Minecon, you know, our booth, 
again, our signage just didn't arrive. We didn't get our signage. Like we ordered all the signage and we just, I don't, I don't know if Wes ordered it late or what the deal was. I, I sat, stood there beside him while I was on the phone with the company and they just were one excuse after another as to why, why they weren't delivering our, our, you know, the big The frustrating thing about that was they were like 24 hour turnaround company as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So they, they had, they had, well, they could have still done it. Like, even though they, they missed our party, they still could have had it at Minecon as well, like the next day. Yeah. But, you know, they just they just didn't or whatever. Um, so Creeper Host had built that whole booth. Like our deal with Creeper Host was um, we'll give them access to our party that we're paying for and they'll give us access to the booth that they're paying for. And it's like a symbiotic relationship type of thing. But um, we weren't uh, integral in the building of that booth. And so we were basically going to throw our signage on after the fact. And since we didn't get any signage, it was basically like Minecraft at a Creeper Host booth. And that's something seven seven I talked a lot about going into this booth. I was like, let's make sure we divide all the signage 50 50 so both companies are represented. And we've I think we've done that. Um, but that said, that means every single thing we've bought can only work in a booth that is a Nerd Fusion Minecraft booth because all of them have combined logos on everything. So if like it's almost like if we break up or like he like they want to do a booth or we want to do a booth without them, it's like you take like the pictures where you break up with someone, <laughs> you gotta like cut them out, physically tear it so there's this horrible edge to it, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's um, like canvas but, and you have like little threads on the side of one one edge. We um we tried to cheat. Uh, so the union wants to carry everything in. I swear I've seen Game Wisp oh carrying their God, own I shit hate in, right? You. <laughs> So I was just now talking to him just like a few minutes ago and uh, they got caught trying to trying to bring in the, the furniture without union carrying it. And so now we're having to pay union to carry our fucking tables. And I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what it costs for these people to carry tables. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. At least. Is at, my least guess. at least three hundred dollars. Jeez, <laughs> That's a lot of money to carry a table. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, last no, podcast I, we spent a lot of time bitching oh. about the prices. So I won't go into all that, but like, let's just say, like, if they want to take out the trash, it's like eighty bucks a day, just to drink a little waistband. It's profiteering, really. Is yeah. it's it's, mon- it's monopolization. Like yeah. they they ha- yeah. And, and the, th- the funny thing is, is, all they'll do is bully you. They'll just bully you to death <laughs> it, to if death you decide you. not to use them. Yeah. Anyway, they will. They will, Chad. But, uh, so uh, aside uh, from all my bitching, I'm really <laughs> looking forward to Pack South. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm. I, I think what it is is part, partially there's a lot of stress involved with the this all coming together, um, and we're not we're not very good at getting things together until the very last minute for whatever reason. I don't know why that is, but yeah, I think things are coming together and it's going to be a lot of fun. And I wish more of our group could be there, but um, traveling is hard. It's, it is what it is. So. It's none of our faults. It's just expensive, and yep. And I, uh, I, I begged Seth to come, and uh, booked his flight wrong. So is he? Is he going? Yeah, he's going. He's going. Okay. Um, I thought you said I mean, booked his flight wrong. Like, so it was like uh, after packs. But Chad's not. <laughs> he Chad, Chad is, will be there. He oh just won't God. be at our booth. The thing um, is, is that so traitor. so I got I've I've been uh, hired by Reed Pop the organizers of PAX to do to basically be the official tour guide of PAX. So we'll be shooting videos, we'll be inter- doing interviews, we'll be walking the floor with, you know, really cool people. And pointing I just out mind crack a lot. Huh? Pointing out mind crack a right. lot. Here's our brew, you know, exactly. No, uh and so I've you know, now now that I'm hired, it's like uh uh I don't know what they're going to want. You know, I don't know what my schedule is going to be. So I can't, I couldn't say like this day at this time, I'll be here at the booth. Um, but Sunday, I am pretty positive that I'll be available all day. And good. This is, this is what happens every single time I tell good this, he just, he's, it's like, he ignored it. He's like, I don't care. The other two days though, those, those ones matter. I tell good, I'm, I'm going to be there Sunday. And it's just, it's like, I didn't even say it. <laughs> I'm so bitter, I guess is what it is. Like I'm not bitter. I, and I know I don't have any right to be mad at you because here's the, like in my, in my video last night, I, I just, I just ranted, man. Um, <laughs> but uh, I brought up the fact that the difference between Nerd Fusion and Minecraft is that they're a business. And even though we're accused of being a dirty, dirty business, we're a group of individual businesses 
under one name where everyone's an individual. They're running their own business. They're doing their own thing. And that's what's most important. And that's not a bad thing. It's just, it is what it is. But Chad is OMG Chad Inc., right? And yeah. he's got going to represent himself and he's going to do his own thing. And he did. And that's great. Congratulations. You got a job. That's good. You're getting paid. You're getting paid a hell of a lot more than Minecraft was going to pay. That's for damn sure. So good. Minecraft that's was going to pay me? <laughs> I, I wish I wish I had known everyone's inner fucking last second details ahead of time because there's so much money spent on this booth and it's like until until Seth was coming it felt like it was gonna be me and Kurt sitting there going indeed, <laughs> indeed. indeed. and uh, so yeah I just you know like you know, like begging a railing can you come by the booth no I don't have any time I gotta be the truth booth the whole time you know I just thought of a great idea good you could do to solve that. I bet you get uh, iPads and have me and Argus's head just there. Like, <laughs> Tell him presents in. FaceTime. Yeah. yeah, just like, yeah, man. Hey guys, if the internet was become... good enough for that, oh, I would, boy, I would you. love that. <laughs> and Baj as well. Baj can be there. He can be on like an Android tablet, though. One of the <laughs> <shiny tablets. laughs> Fire, uh, uh, Amazon Fire tablet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get one that works. A Kindle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, it's also uh, difficult. See, Minecraft was, I, I feel like, there. you know, Minecraft was really created as a group of friends. And it's also hard because I, I, there's just so much because, like, we're all over the world. You know, we're a, not a local company. Right. Nerd Fusion has everyone basically in Seattle except for one person. And that's Boz. <laughs> it's for Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just so different. Classic, classic pause. Classic pause, not not being in Seattle. Is pause going in the packs? No. 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 He yeah, was uh, flying. Yeah. He's he, he just he just had a big trip. He just he just came back off the big airplane, and so he needs to he got rest a little while. I didn't know that because I, I was <laughs> I assumed he was okay with that when he flew to Europe. No, he um you know he hasn't really flown since that one play on con where they had bad turbulence coming back. He mm -hmm. said that like fucked him up. And uh, he hasn't wanted to fly since then. I had this, some this, this, this turbulence. That's scary, so man. When I had some really bad turbulence flying into Belfast from university one year, and I swear we were flying. And it seemed like we were floating in one spot for at least 10 minutes because they were waiting for the air airport to kind of say, yo, you can land. And the turbulence was so bad. He was doing circles in the air. And I was like, I'm going into this water. Like, we're going to sink. I was getting ready to start swimming. But we landed. And I'm safe and signed. A couple of years later. It's like apparently uh, the airlines say that it's not bad turbulence until it's like shaking you out of your seat. Well, yeah. the airlines say that not a single plane has ever uh, crashed because of turbulence. Yeah, really. Yeah. Huh. I so that. I usually don't start freaking out until I see like the flight attendant starting to look worried, and then I'm like, you know, I'll freak right. out then. Yeah. Uh, no, there's only been one flight that really scared me where we were coming into land and we had to like take back off basically because the we weren't yeah. we were gonna we weren't gonna land correctly and it's like oh fuck redo god damn that's scary <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that happened once i was flying into austin and it was a really bad storm like a really bad storm and it felt like we were losing altitude and you'd look out the window and their lights you know i remember the lights came on underneath the wing and all I could see was just water for like three feet in front of the light before the light couldn't get any further. So like you, they were so much water that the light wouldn't go any further and you couldn't see, I couldn't, you couldn't see it, the ground. You know, it wasn't like when you were flying in and you can see like lights and cars and stuff. It was just water. And you un un under the ocean at the time. I kind of felt like it. So we're, we're like landing and like it felt like we were losing altitude. And then all of a sudden the plane just kicked it into a gear I have never felt before. Like we were flying and then it was like, holy crap. And everyone was like glued to the back of their seat. And we just like gained tons of altitude. And I was like, were we like really close to the ground? Like, what was that? Like, why did we all of a sudden just explode with speed and gain a lot of altitude? And then we like flew around for uh, about 20 more minutes before we started to descend again. And I was like, that, that felt weird. That felt really weird. Um, <laughs> at least you didn't die. Yeah, at least I didn't yep. die. At least you're here. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we did. We ever say what booth number we are? We're uh, one zero zero six two is our booth number. 
in the convention hall. I didn't actually know that. Look for Nerd Fusion. Yeah, just look for the big Nerd Fusion sign. Uh, you know, in the in the map, look for Nerd Fusion. Uh, <laughs> just trying to rub it in. By, by loot crate. Huh? <laughs> we are next to loot crate. We are next to loot crate. Uh, and if, for those who don't know, I think we said this, uh, but PAX is in San Antonio and this weekend. So uh, we hope to see you there. Could be my first time in Texas. Yeah. One day. Yeah. If you ever go, we, we should like do like really uh, stereotypical Texas stuff, like uh, ride a horse. You know, I told you this before. I thought Texas was said Florida for some reason. Like, I don't know why. Like, it kind of. If, if you take away the Gulf of Mexico, maybe. Yeah, I thought it was like right. I thought it was East Coast, really. Like, really oh, yeah, East Coast. No. Apparently not. No. 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 Uh, so, My badge. Mother. There's a new microwave band broadband. Oh, I see. Wow. Throw that at me, are you? Um, so yeah, some, some chappy, um, chappy, <laughs> some chappy, um, he's the guy that originally founded Aereo, who was, um, they're trying to capture the TV market. Um, he's decided that he's going to try and, um, set the cat amongst the pigeons with the ISPs. And he wants to use millimeter wave, um, technology to uh, wirelessly beam broadband uh, around cities. Now, apparently, previously, it wasn't doable because you had to have line of sight. Yeah. Uh, but now uh, they've got, what's it called, pulse, pulse modulating something or other, and basically it can bounce off buildings. So all they need is you know a few towers in a city, and it can bounce off buildings, and all you have is a little thing in the window uh, to pick it up. Now, he says when... He says, when cable guys want to lay cables, um, it costs roughly two and a half thousand dollars per house to put you know, fiber, fiber in. Um, but they reckon they can do it for twenty five dollars, which means, you know, obviously lower prices for everybody. Very wow. cheap. Yeah. yeah. And also get rid of your um, monopolies. And speeds up to uh, one gigabit. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Up and down. I had I had I I've heard of uh, microwave stuff in San Francisco. Uh, I knew a few friends in Oakland who would. Uh, I think it was called like Green Monkey. There was some there's some ISP that had to do with monkeys. I remember, and they would do they would do that. They uh, if you had line of sight to their building, you could get super fast internet using microwave towers. Uh, but yeah, the same same issue that you described is that you'd have to see it. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I think we. I, I was in a company that had it, you know, twenty years ago, nearly. Um, but again, it was line of sight. But this is saying this is on the thirty gigahertz spectrum, which is not used at the moment. So, I, I wonder um, if weather uh, will cause lots of problems. That's what I was going to say because I looked into it here to send it from the road to my house, and that was told that if it rained, it wouldn't work. Just so rain. Like, yeah, just rain. But this is something different. This is just straight microwaves. Uh, well, you got to... And all that, and rain basically fucked up the line of sight, kind of. Yeah. And you got to realize my, the way microwave heats food is by interacting with water and causing water molecules to move around. So if this is microwave-sized uh, waves, it would interact with water. Uh, would it move the rain? It would probably be interfered with by rain. Right. Uh -huh. Interesting. This guy who does, uh, who made Aereo, he just seems like uh, a company <sighs> troll. He just creates companies just to just to disrupt all these markets. Yeah, this is this is the worrying thing, isn't it? It's it's has, is it going to gain traction? Is it going to? I mean, the idea is nice. Um, uh, he's saying. Well, what's the other thing? There's um, he's got a he's got a router with a. A 3.6 inch touchscreen that runs Android, uh, which they reckon is going to cost another $350 if you want that. And that gives you all sorts of things about speed monitoring and, and gubbins like that as well. But it would be nice if you could come in and have low price broadband. God knows your country needs it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a free upgrade yesterday <clears throat> as well. My broadband, free 50 megabytes download. 
for an extra three pounds. Well, I guess it's not free. There's price increases coming, but <laughs> three pounds extra a month. <laughs> I went from 150 done to 200 done for three, like about five extra dollars. Yeah, that's virgin for that's you. Good. They still send you like loads and loads and loads of really glossy things through the post every week. Yeah. I mean, we used to have like three a week would come in. Oh, we get our mobile phones and stuff. And then it's all got pictures of, you know, Samuel L. Jackson or something on it. And it's like, well, stop paying them millions of pounds to be on this stuff. Stop paying for all this really expensive brochures and stuff and just take £10 off my bill every month. You know, it's at least it wind me up. But yes, it's anyway. really interesting. Disruptive technology is fun. Yeah. It is fun. Uh, it would definitely be best in a city uh, like L.A. or San Francisco. I don't know about San Francisco because all the fog, but in L.A., like, <laughs> when we have bad weather, it's like, what? Mm. I, don't, I don't understand. Um, well, since it's going live in Boston in February the 5th, so that's another mm. good place to try it. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I guess good. let's move on. Pyro, you had a story? Yeah, so new game came out this week uh, from the creator of Bridge, Jonathan Blow. He released The Witness, which has been in development for seven years. Originally slated for 2011 release. Now I finally in 2016 it releases. I downloaded this as soon as it went on the PSN store because I've been waiting for it for a long time now. It was £30, I guess, $40, $40 $50. And... Uh, it, it people people are receiving it honestly like a mixed bag. It seems like a lot of the reviewers are giving it top scores, but like a lot of the gaming public are like, it's just snake upgraded. So if any of you guys actually seen it, I I I did not listen to you because I was uh, on a call, <laughs> but I opened your video and muted it, had it playing while I was in a meeting yesterday, um, and I did not understand what i was seeing because i guess i couldn't hear you and i also skipped to that i didn't even start at the start i still skipped <laughs> to the middle of the video and uh, i just see you kind of running around and then you go up to like these consoles and you play snake like you're saying um and then you run around some more and that's what i've seen in the game like i said this is so this is well i was told it was it was going to be like mist so that's well, the thing, i read uh... your description and that's what i read i read this is missed, basically. Yeah. That's what your description for your video is, Pyro. At least that's how I read it. Well, I think a lot of people went into it expecting it to be missed, and it isn't. It's kind of more... It honestly, to me, is like a more polished anti-chamber combined with like missed like open world uh, elements. Like It's a really pretty game, the overworld itself, the, uh, the graphics it has. Um, but apparently it has like 100 hours of gameplay or something like that. There's 700 puzzles, and he... Jonathan Blow came out and said there's some puzzles he believes only 1% of people will actually be able to solve. So, really? um, But the thing is, like, okay, the entire game is based around this sort of uh, console application where you essentially have to guide um, this little little square or little circle or what have you not through, like, a maze. And uh, at first you think, okay, well, you're not going to get much out of this. It's such a basic concept, but it is just amazing how they managed to squeeze so many puzzles out of this and how you know it constantly evolves over time i think i'm about six hours into the game and i mean some of the puzzles are just so genius in design and i think if you're a fan of puzzle games you should definitely check it out i think you know if you're looking for a mist type game this isn't it i think it's i honestly think it's better than mist personally i didn't really grow up with mist but i personally think it's better because uh I, i'm Wait, just addicted to did it you just say i've never read it coming no no i never grew up with it <laughs> oh okay I fled it, but okay, okay. I, I was like, I, I find certain missed That's what I heard. <laughs> I, I find certain games are, I don't know, I don't want to say glorified, but I think they're very. You need to be in the certain generation. They appreciate it a little bit more. I don't know if that's what you guys right. feel, but yeah, certain games like, I played yeah. from a while ago and it's kind of like, date, not dated, but you know, I don't really feel as if it's amazing as people made it out to be. It's a product it of its time, time, yeah. Yeah, but, it has its own context of time era. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, if you're in the puzzle games, you should just definitely check it out. And uh, I think it's $30 or £30 pounds on PS4 and PC. And uh, I actually uncovered, not uncovered, I actually saw a game breaking bug today, which is never good, but it's developed by one or two guys. Hopefully they'll be patched pretty soon. Um, you can fall out of the world by going on a boat. There's a boat in the game, Spartacus. Um, so if you're playing The Witness and you see a boat, just don't move while you're on it. Otherwise, it'll break your game. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, 
Yeah, it seems really interesting uh, from what I've... Like, you tweeted a, a puzzle, which... <laughs> yeah. I was really surprised you didn't get that puzzle. <laughs> it, and honestly, it's, it's, it's... I don't know. It's... I, my playthrough of it, like, I'm actually... Uh, a bit apprehensive of posting it, but I'm gonna complete it anyway. But because there's so many backseat gamers, man, with puzzle games, it's like right. That's what I always hate about puzzle games. Everyone's like, "How could you not? How could you not see that?" I mean, we could just totally I, pause okay. it. Not be thinking about everyone commenting and like that shit gets in my head when I'm doing a puzzle game. I, yeah, I don't like I'm not figuring it out fast enough. Time. I'm just sitting there like reading comments that don't even exist yet the whole time because I'm <laughs> like, oh god, what are they saying now? Yeah. What are they thinking? Oh fuck, I'm so dumb. Why am I so dumb? They're saying I'm dumb. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. <laughs> Yeah, in order so to be actually, impressive in a puzzle game, you need to be able to get it before your audience figured it out, and that's almost impossible. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people don't realize that some YouTubers edit all the things out. Yeah, so I, all you get is, oh, let me look at this. Bing, here it is. And they don't, they, they edit out the hour and a half of thinking about it in, in the middle. Um, so what I, what I did was, if I filled it more than a minute, I would edit it out. I had a little timer, and basically I just edited that out. But the thing is, some of the puzzles are really hard. People have been stuck on them for several hours. There was one puzzle in my second episode that took me literally like an hour and a half to figure out. And uh, there was a guy that just come and look, oh, I got it in five minutes, man. What the hell? How would you find this? So just yeah, aggravated. There's probably other ones he didn't get, you know? Yeah, I mean, just depends the way your brain works with those puzzles, yeah. doesn't it? So um, what I really like about it, though, is John, he's kind of designed it not to hold your hand. So. Um, You'll come up with a, you know, like with a puzzle, and you'll have no clue what the symbols mean. There's different symbols that do different things. For example, if you don't want to hear what they are, spoilers, you know, pause the podcast for a minute. But there's a, a symbol called like an elimination symbol, where you have to. Um, so the one that I tweeted at the chat yesterday was there was black and white squares, and you had to separate them with a line. Um, but with the elimination one, you have to actually uh, sort of go against the rule. So you would have to group one of the white squares with the black squares if that makes sense um and it just mixes it up so much and it just amazes me the amount of uh one concept that can be sort of brung that far over 700 puzzles and there's actually some open world interactions you can do as well i won't spoil those but they're amazing when you actually get them in the game um so yeah i can't recommend that enough i haven't been addicted to this game and a game like this in a long time so um, I just couldn't put it down yesterday, and I'm kind of itching to play it now, to be honest. You should have played Seven Days to Die then. Or, uh, you <laughs> know, I was actually going to bring up Seven Days to Die. It's like Seven Days to Die, I was so addicted with it. And then, yep. you know, we started our server, and I had so much fun that first week. But the next week, I got super busy and wasn't able to play on it, and now I feel like I can't play on it at all. <sighs> you know? I, I, I felt like it was a big time investment like you guys know i post a lot of shit on my channel <laughs> and like to say the least I, I suppose good does as well so i can't really make that excuse he posts a lot of videos like me um but i don't know i just spent most of my day switching between games i probably should change that and i feel like with seven days that you'd have to sit there for several hours continuously instead of 20 minutes here and there to sort of it is a game I, you want to play for more than 20 minutes i think the minimum yeah. play session should be a day cycle I think How you can play one day a day, Four and that's minutes. 50 minutes. 40 minutes for the daytime and 10 minutes mm -hmm. for the nighttime. So I think 50 minutes a day is probably what you want to play of that game. Burn minimum? It, yeah. Well, I, I think that's... that's Like, if you're playing single player, that means you're playing one game day every day if you play 50 mm -hmm. minutes. Um, so in a single player setting, that would be... I mean, that's how I used to play the game. I would record an episode a day, basically. Um, unless I got you know really into it, then I would play more but that would be multiple days of episodes mm -hmm. um, but what chad said about not being able to still play i don't think so chad because the difficulty really is all over the place like on horde day there's hordes non-stop but the day before the hordes the day after the hordes um the game tries to give you a break uh, kind of like a repair or catch-up period uh, yeah. so like for instance the on tuesdays it's always um very very light zombie wise so like if you feel like you're behind yeah you on a tuesday and get all your, your shit back together. And I think that's and the also, problem is like Tuesday is my day. Like just personally, I have so many videos to do on Tuesday. I have to do both of my OMG crafts. I have to do my Friday and my Wednesday video. So I have four videos that are not gameplay that I have to like go set up a camera, set up lights and do all that. 
uh, on every Wednesdays or Tuesday. So, um, Wednesdays are well, Wednesdays are busy too. Yeah, and then Wednesdays are crazy because the podcast, uh, right. editing, right. and then my stream. And it's like I don't know. I think that's my biggest problem that I've had so far, which is upsetting because like I really, I I, I don't know when it was my single player. I was able just to watch it or like jump on while playing like Netflix in the background or something. But now yeah. that it's persistent all the time, and I'm not saying we need to change it. I'm just saying that this is, this is just why uh, I haven't been on recently is, uh, is like uh, I wanted to join, but it was the 21st day and I hadn't joined really since like the 10th day. And it was like, Oh gosh, I'm going to get wrecked. I'm going to get just so wrecked if I try to get on, you know? So anyway, yeah. I uh you're speaking of do you mind the time that was in the chat I was tallying up like just for my general sort of uh taxes I do every year for because you have to put in the amount of time you work in your home when mm-hmm. you're self-employed and I was just amazed like the amount of time the YouTube content creators just spend in general like it's far more than a well for me at least it was far more than a 40 hour week some days yeah. like, I, I you don't really realize it though do you how much work it is sometimes it depends it really depends yeah i, I, I feel like with badges like some days i get caught up in the work and you know i'm so happy to do it and then other days it's like uh i don't really have a good idea for this video I, I, and i like feel like i'm compromising yeah <laughs> yeah and then like oh my gosh this upload is you know broke this time or you know yeah there's all sorts of different uh, oh yeah i definitely enjoy it it's just that uh i was just amazed how much time i devoted to it like i wouldn't be doing it if i didn't enjoy it sort of thing but um it just amazes me yeah time I goes agree. fast man i agree yeah, yeah. uh la, da, da. i think let's move on to arcus right i have a um uh I guess it's not philosophical. Uh, anyway, um, there's this guy <laughs> in the US, a top US Homeland Security official, uh, and he says that we should ban internet anonymity. We should. I agree with that guy. I, I, I didn't read the article because I was busy building a PC, but. Um, I read the title ah, of this article. I read the title too, and I think it's an interesting question <laughs> we could talk about. Uh, you're you like my argue? Facebook feed. I'm going to share this article without actually reading it. <laughs> like, exactly. Yeah, basically. So, uh, to what, I mean, again, I'm, I'm not going to read the article either. Let's just, let's just blindly uh, talk about the, the subject matter. Or um, I missed so, the point completely. So, let's to go. what degree? I remember, uh, you know, many years ago, World of Warcraft, they were trying to combat forum, forum trolls. Mm-hmm. And they decided the way to defeat forum trolls was to make everyone on the forums have their first and last name visible. No longer was it going to be like good. It was going to be Jason, you know, whatever. Um, and people lost their fucking minds because uh, they didn't want, you know, they didn't want, for one thing, all your past posts were going to now show. So like all along you'd been good and you'd been being a fucking dick bag. And suddenly, you know, your first <laughs> to last names out there, you know, maybe we'll find your employer and let them know what a jerk you are, that type of thing. And that was the kind of examples people were bringing up is, I wanted to be anonymous to say all these hateful things. And so I don't want you to find my employer and get, get, me, get me fired or prevent me from having a job in the future because of some stupid shit I said. And we do know that employers look at, you know, Twitter and Facebook and all those type of things when they're doing a background check to consider hiring you. So craft forums too. Um, probably. I mean, if you're just searching, you're probably, they probably just Google your first and last name. A lot of times, especially if you have a name that's not, you know, if your name's like to um, you know, there's not a lot of the Tijimansons out there um, <laughs> from Norway. So, you know, they, uh, he's from Netherlands. Norway, right. Um, <laughs> he hates me. Can we restart this recording? <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, anyways, I, I think that, um, the arguments against it are probably, there's probably good ones and bad ones. Like, after seeing people get doxxed and knowing what, what what all that entails, it's pretty scary to have your first and last name and social security and everything in the world out there. Um, I'm True. Show. These people, like, the trouble is they, they are very much one rule for us, one rule for them. 
you know, the, these politicians will be saying these things, but you're damn sure they don't want their real names out there when they're doing stuff. And if they're, if they're writing something on a forum, or if they're, you know, we, can, we can't read their emails. You know, it's, it's all. I don't think a lot of them don't seem to understand the concepts of what they're talking about either, which is a little worrying. You see these lawmakers trying to make up laws about computers and stuff, and they all freely admit they don't use email. They do, that, don't they, Bash? No, that's the most basic of computer uses, and you, you can't even use that in, in this century. Why are you making up laws about how people use computers? Yeah. I think that that's, there'd be a good argument for both. Is some, you know, some official ID that says this is you, you are posting as you, a verified hash that it's you. Um, yeah. And then also, you know, uh, you could just post it anonymously. So there's both. I think that would be useful. Uh, yeah, the the internet has a big issue that it's really badly policed. Like, is is out of touch with the yeah. real world justice system? I guess. Um, like, if you get dosed or something, like, go to your police department and report it. Like, they will probably not know what to do with it. Um, so yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, so maybe in that case, it's easier to help. You know, internet crime. Fight yeah. It. Do you think the government should set up a TSA for the internet? No. <laughs> me either. No. Stop. Like, uh, like, yeah. uh, uh, can you say, can you say God no quick enough? Yeah. It's like, it's like, <laughs> yeah, th things are bad, but I like that it's an anarchy <laughs> at the moment. Do you remember in Google yeah, Plus tried yeah. to do that as well? Did Google Plus do that? You had to have no, not yeah, your name. They, 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 they wanted you to have your first and last name unless you were a business. Like that got me all fucked up too because my my Google page was set up like a person, even though it was good, and so I couldn't like I don't know. It was all jacked up for a long time, and I still don't know, don't know if it's correct. Broadband did something, and it's I don't know. I don't know. But then again, you know, if you <laughs> there, there's the usual thing about you've got to be over thirteen if you're doing lots of stuff on the internet and. I think, you know, there, there's a certain thing about not anonymizing 14-year-old kids for a start. You know, that, that, that's something that's a little bit iffy. But then, I don't know. I, I feel that if you're just Joe Bloggs out there writing something on a forum then, and you're not anonymous, that's not the end of the world. If you start becoming, you know, people like we are or actually proper famous people, uh, then, it, you know, Quite a few of these guys have spent a lot of time trying to not have our full names out there because there are weirdos out there and, and strange people. As much as you get all the nice people that want to be nice, there's always some weirdo out there or someone you're going to piss off accidentally. Um, and, then, and, that, and that happens whether people are anonymous or not, to be honest. Well, true, true. But it's a lot harder, isn't it, if you're not? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, right. A bit more dedication to your, to your fanaticism. Right. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, it doesn't always work for all situations. I don't. You know, things are going to have to change eventually. Like the internet will have to be regulated in some way, eventually, and not yeah. for the film industry to save them or any of that bullshit. Oh god. Um, yeah, I don't know if I always assume there. There's always gonna, I feel like, be a black market. There's always gonna be another like. Right now, the internet isn't all that regulated, and, and there's already, right now, a dark web. There's already another internet that's even less regulated. It's not uh, so spooky, the dark web. Yeah. Mm. It's very scary. Um, so I could see that if they try to crack down, there is, uh, you know, the technology exists for anonymous communication. It's not just going to go away. I could see that maybe there's like an official internet and then there's like a black internet, you know, like a, an unofficial dark, internet. Why does it got to be black, Chad? Uh, I realize that, uh, dark I mean, yeah, like dark, like there's, there's got to be a, a, a black market is what I was thinking of, but yeah. Right. Um, Probably. Interesting.
But I what is the? I, um, think- I mean, you, 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 I think you have two sides of people that use the the black internet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> and, uh, it's, uh, it's people like, um, that are, it's like, like whistleblowers. Right? Yeah. You well, video is always worried. Like he's, you know, duck, duck, go. And yeah, I got to wipe my windows every six months. And I don't know. I've come convinced he's like a, g- a gang member on the run. He's not really guys. Don't, don't, but, uh, or, or is uh, he, yeah, where is he? Yeah. Uh, but then, then there's the things you read about where like the FBI just, you know, seized a bunch of, uh, tour servers that were serving uh, child porn and um, they did some big steam and call a bunch of people because of that. Um, or uh, the, you know, we've all heard of Silk Road no. and the type of stuff that's sold there. So I feel like that there's those, those, those illegal activities are making the, the tour stuff look worse than it is. Yeah. The thing is, is that it's, it's really, I feel like the, the, you know, the dark web is just all about choice is and that this would this would happen a lot with uh whenever I was traveling with Brian Brushwood because we did stuff that on the face of it would seem super sketch. We would travel around with like knives and stuff for our magic show. That is pretty You know, you'd think that it's super sketchy, but it's like for a magic show. Uh there's a law that you're not allowed to travel with more than I think it's like ten thousand dollars in cash on you. And there was right. a time that we went overseas and went and to uh, do a, a big, a very big magic show in a different country. And they pay you in cash because there's been so many issues with wire transfers not going through or credit stuff, you know. So they pay you in actual hard cash more than that limit. And so we're smuggling cash into America because, like, you know, there's there's a stupid law, uh, you know, to stop criminals. But we weren't criminals. We're just normal people. And and I feel like a lot of times there is a problem whenever you regulate that it takes away choice and it takes away freedoms. And I feel like that is the de- you know, and people will abuse it like a lot of times that they do on the dark web. But then again, it's just a choice and a freedom. And there's lots of people who don't abuse it and who need it. In fact, their lives, if you're a whistleblower, if you're working for a spy agency, you have to have an anonymous way to communicate. And they're doing good work. It's just choice. Your politicians don't really want to help whistleblowers at the moment. They do, they? No, they don't. No, they don't. I feel like, well, I've mentioned this before, but I'm tired of seeing Snowden's face. (laughs) You don't anyway. like him, or you're just you're tired of the whole thing. I I think that he has been made out. He's a smug. He's smug. He's really smug. He's gotten too smug. <laughs> little, little, little I don't like his personality. Movie. He's just smug. He's like, yeah, I'm the hero you all wanted. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, without I, I, him, yeah. I mean, who who cares about who he is? But without what he did, no, we would all assume that the government was still telling the truth to us. See, I guess I've always been cynical before Snowden. I didn't need him to bring me to cynicism. So, but now we know I for a fact. There. I I already felt that way, you know. Yeah, but um, before you were some crazy conspiracy theorist, and now <laughs> you're you're just telling the truth. Chad, right. I I agree. I mean, I personally think that Earth's flat. Did you see that, by the way, on Twitter? What? B will be in my. Speaking of conspiracy theories, people will be the singer came out and said the earth is flat and started like yeah. going off of it. Yeah. And then Neil Tyson replied to him and made a mixtape dissing him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I saw the mixtape. I didn't actually listened to it, but I didn't realize that's what it was about. That's pretty funny. It's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yes, those are either off topic, but I had to put it in. <laughs> so you're talking about off topic. You see that Kanye and Wiz Khalifa just had a big. Yes. That was the <laughs> weirdest. The What's the beef, Baj? What's the beef? I, I don't really know. Apparently. Uh, so here's what happened. Here's what happened yeah. is uh, Kanye has been promoting his new album and he changed the album's name from uh, from Swish to Waves. And Wiz tweeted out. Uh, hit this KK and become yourself. And 
Uh, and Kanye thought KK meant Kim Kardashian. So hit up Kim Kart like, like have Kim lay you, and then you'll be back to yourself, and you'll get you know get this all over with or whatever. And yeah. and so he took that as as an offense, and he got super pissed off about it. And Wiz tweeted later, KK is weedful. Like he's he's talking about some strain of of uh, weed instead. <laughs> so, but in between, Kanye just goes like crazy on him. He's like, first, first of all, you stole all your shit from yeah from Cootie. Uh, second, like he was like literally, you know, it's like first of all, blah. Second of all, blah. And then he goes on until seventeenth of all. <laughs> Blah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> you get, you get, you get, you get, Wait, some of these are hilarious. Huh? You had 17 ads on him on yes! Twitter? Yes. Yes. That is quite a lot, man. Yes. I, wow. And, and some of them, like, sometimes he was dishing them. Sometimes he was like, I went I went to your profile and you have some cool jeans. <laughs> I made it so uh, we could wear tight jeans. Uh, what's this another one? Uh, I showed you respect as a man when I met you. Uh, you wouldn't have... This is 12th of all. Uh, you wouldn't have a child if it wasn't for me. 13. What, did you him? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It gets... We it's uh, 17th of all was, I think you dress cool. I wish I was skinny and tall. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think that's all... Like pre pre uh, meditated for the album promotion, or uh, that is one thing he said. He said, "Thank you for the extra promotion." Hashtag waves available February eleventh. <laughs> I'm effect. ye, and I My ain't gotta say it the right way. I'm ye. 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 <laughs> ye. My favorite was fourteenth. Uh, in word, it's called creativity. You oh no no wait wrong hashtag one hat what is this is my favorite this is uh, I screen grabbed those pants and sent them sent them to my style team hashtag Wiz wears cool pants <laughs> in the middle of an what? argument it was like it was an <laughs> argument at the same time he was like I really like your pants man like you you dress really cool and I wish I had your body. <laughs> Fourth, you let a stripper trap you. <laughs> what? It's, it, it just, it was weird. And then he deleted them all. Uh, Classic Kanye. Yeah. Same as he's being a dick. <sighs> Good energy, positive energy. This album is actually a gospel album. The devil can't stop us, says Kanye. Well... So that so that happened on Twitter. That literally took over my Twitter feed for like a long time, like thirty minutes. Kanye is so weird, man. Like, do you, do you follow Kanye on Twitter, Chad? Uh, I follow a lot of people on Twitter, and uh, they let me know uh, what's going on. on Twitter. <laughs> I went to the supermarket to buy some dinner, and I, I came out, and I had eight messages from my housemate going, "Oh my God, Kanye's <laughs> Kanye's gone crazy." Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, so with that, I guess let's move on to ask crack. I'll start off. Do you pour milk in your cereal first or the cereal first? Milk in your bowl first, I think. So. I guess, we've yeah. Had, we've answered this before. Have we? Yeah. Okay. Anybody that puts milk in their bowl first needs to be lined up against the wall. Yeah, it's just fucking weird. I guess you guys are ready to disown me then, right? You're you not, do not. You don't. No way. You're no, way more efficient to do something it's stupid like that. I don't eat cereal. Oh. Oh, okay. well, that's fine. That's fine. Wow. Well, I, I guess I what about you? I eat toast. Where do I eat cereal? I like cereal. No, do you no, put do cereal you, in the put... bowl and then pour milk on top of it? Or do you pour the milk and then the cereal into the milk? Cereal first. Good. All the time. I mean, it, I, I do cereal and then beer on top. No, I'm just kidding. I have a bad <laughs> reputation for a drunk. <laughs> and a sausage. You are? You are? Um, well, I didn't realize we had already answered that one before. I'm sorry about that. It may have been before your time. I didn't answer yet. We've so. answered a lot of questions. Yeah, we can, we can repeat. <laughs> before your time. Before you were born. Yeah. 
a little youngin. Um, all right, this one's from, uh, you know, that one was from Tootie Poopy Shoes, by the Tootie way. Tootie Poopy Shoes, thanks. Tootie Poopy Shoes. Uh, oh, it was already asked. A freaking stop asking questions we've already answered. Right. Get some clean shoes. Yeah. This is from Keys Thijin. It's almost like Tijimin. Um <sighs> I thought it was Tymon. It is. It is. Oh, Tijimin. <laughs> it is, but Goose is being funny, I guess. <laughs> Like you, put your head and you said funny. Funny, I guess. <laughs> um, we learned by the marathon there was quite a bit of fan fiction about Minecraft. I ship with Arcus. Um, what would your reaction be if they would make a Minecraft porn parody? Thank you, Francis. You keep up the great work. I'm sure there's ones out there. I know there's at least animated ones from the past. I know I've, I've definitely. What's your favorite porn parody that's out there right now? Well, I can only think of, of all time, like mm -hmm. being the connoisseur that you I are. Really. I haven't seen a lot of porn parodies. You know, my wife bought um, the only only porn DVDs we own. In fact, uh, she bought the um, these are super old too. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I can't even remember what it was called. Bat Pirates. Uh, no, it wasn't uh, the. Um, booty? You kind of cut Captain. out there, and it a little bit sounded like Pyros of the Caribbean. Yeah, it was Pyros of the Caribbean. Uh, <laughs> Me, it's my new porn film going by now. <laughs> the the captain of the ship was a woman, and uh, uh, no. so she just had to fuck all the mates. No, I was just like, bring down those ginger barriers. Wait a second. <laughs> we didn't. Uh, we only watched like ten minutes, and I was like, this is so dumb. Like porn like that is so. Bad. I don't know who watches that type of stuff. It's, it's right like now. a Hollywood movie, yeah, badly written Hollywood movie, but with better sex scene. Better <laughs> with only the sex, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's like sometimes you watch, you watch a film, Edward you Penis think... Hands. That was, that was <laughs> that's a thing, right? <laughs> that is a thing. I wonder, I would like to that. see that one actually. And when I was uh, like in high school, we uh, someone had it and we put it on during a party and we laughed and laughed and <laughs> laughed and laughed. Did he have was both his hands just penises. big dicks? Yes, they were just two so had like. Who was the other day that described described Shaq like that? Someone said Shaq, Shaq had penis hands. Yeah, they were like, man, he's got his hands. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and penises. And, uh, Anders, whenever we chat. Oh, on, it was um, Anders, Kevin right. Bands, yeah, he's got this obsession about the, the photo of um, Shaq and his girlfriend and the hamster banana picture. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> right. He's obsessed with that. But yeah, it's like he's got penises for hands. <laughs> yes. Wow. But there, there is um there there is a, a sort of stagnite sort of trick to do where you get somebody blind drunk and then just get two big dildos and just gaffer tape them to their hands. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, the old badge classic. And then what badge? Then what? Uh, and then you time to a lamppost naked. Oh. Classic hmm. British. Yep. Classic British. Uh I um I almost I, I had to read the first part of some interesting fan fiction uh, during the marathon. Only the first part. There was like a part where I had to stop because um, <laughs> it went bad. But yeah, there there is because uh, it went bad. It it's it yeah. it uh, it was past its uh, best use by date. It went bad. <laughs> it's, right. It spoiled. It yeah. It went bad. It went, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people get freaked out by that stuff. It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't know. I think I it's funny. Out. It bothered me when I read it. It bothered me. Really? I was. Yeah. Who, who were you doing? It was no. It was. I was. I was, I was reading one with you, wasn't it? I was bottom, dude. <laughs> it's what I was doing him. Who was on top? Um, I don't want to say. No, I agree. I can't. <laughs> it's too, well, it's too. It's weird. Yeah, it is let's just say, Oh man, my I, favorite one is where Badge and Pyro make out. <laughs> you see that one twice. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not big. bad. It's just weird when you, when it's somebody that you're friends with, and it's just like it's, it's just. It's but it's weird. not. It's, it's. I mean, it's fiction, and we know no, it's. Yeah, fiction. yeah, yeah you know, know it's fiction, but it's like you have to think of your friends that way, and it's like Ooh. mental uh, images, man. Yeah, I mean, I will, it's so far fetched too. Like where it talks about how. How tiny Pyro is! His badge grabs him and pulls him in. And Pyro is tiny. Lord, it's Lord so badge, awkward. Lord badge, and, <laughs> and then Lord Badge gives him the tongue. It's just like to me. It's just I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so far fetched. It's obviously not. 
Can't you, know, you, you write all these, all these you know, There's no way Pyro's gonna be like, Lord Bash. Uh, oh, it's not weird because I fancy Pyro. It's weird because it's. Uh, right so uh, so yeah i think i would be very um my reaction would be not great uh if i uh saw that um well, it's, but it depends who's playing me really oh i was yeah mm. could you get like uh like stone cold steve austin to play me john holmes <laughs> Uncle Steve Austin would be a better fit. You don't think uh, John John C- Sienna would be uh... Sienna? Sienna John, 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 John Sienna. Sienna. John Sienna. Stena. St- John. Cena. Stop. Cena. There we go. In the, yeah, in the Milby porn parody, Steve Buscemi would be him. <laughs> yeah. oh, God. Uh. What's what's the big fat guy with a with a mustache? Who would who would play me? Uh, yeah, you're talking about the super famous guy uh, who's like. You, Chad, you would have like carrot top, I think, or <laughs> oh, someone. God, he's really that buff guy. now. He's like got he's into. Always been is. so buff, and yeah. his face is always so hard or something. I don't know what it is about carrot top. He it's is not scary. a human being. He is weird. Yeah, he's pretty funny though. Sometimes, <laughs> like I saw him in Vegas in person, and he is straight out of a fucking horror movie. Man, he is scary to me. Like that, you want to see something scare me? Carrot top. I'm deathly afraid of Carrot Top. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. He has a pretty cool name as well. You gotta give him that. Yeah. He seems like a nice guy, but he scares me. I'm afraid of him. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> moving on. It's Badge. Badge. Yes. Oh, this guy's asked things before. It's again. Jake again oh. from State Farm. Um, is, it, is what, what is State Farm? Is it like... It's a car insurance. All right, okay, cool. Um, do you think your family secretly? <laughs> you were saying it? okay, cool, but really, what you were saying was, I don't give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think your family secretly resents your internet career and would would wish that you worked on a real job instead? I don't think my fa- I don't know. I don't think I. I think my family wants the best for me, so no, for the most part. But I think my friends are jealous a little bit, maybe. I don't know if resent is the right word, right. but I think that right. like people who I know, they find out what I do and a lot of them, you can tell just how cur- by how curious they are. They're, they're like, this doesn't make sense to me. Like how you right. freaking lucky bastard. Um, they, don't, they don't get it. A lot, they don't get how much work was into it either, though. Yeah, they don't. I think it's just like sitting home, eating Monday, eating Monday. Yes, that exists. <laughs> See, I've got this problem at the moment because I'm I'm sort of doing job interviews and stuff, and it's very hard to say what you've been doing for the last four years is That's huge. Right. Mm, yeah, yeah, I guess, but because they, cause they don't, again, they don't understand, they don't know the the work that goes into it, and, and it's, you'd almost it's rather difficult. say like I've I've been gambling for the past four years. I've been a professional gambler. <laughs> well, I, I've been I've been for a period of time. Yeah, or like I I only played the lottery for four years. You know, like some really weird that like doesn't uh, require any work. Then say, oh, I I made YouTube videos. I, I've I've been to you know interviews with agencies, and they said, well, there's some companies won't want to employ you because you haven't been working for the last four years. And it's like, well, a I've not been sitting at home, you know, scratching my ass doing nothing. I've been doing something that's in a creative field. And B, you know, a lot of time you get. You get women take time off for the you have a baby and then they don't go back immediately. They stay until you know my mom's wife's doing it at the moment. You know until the, the the child is sort of four or five, and then she goes back into the workplace again. And they seem to be able to do that without. That's not I mean, true though. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't know how it's different there, but yeah. <sighs> But, but they they can still go back into the workplace and, and not be sort of questioned that they haven't worked for four years, you know. Just, well, well, I, I didn't work to a, a human <laughs> being either. I mean, you you got apples and oranges going yeah, on right now. Well, you, yeah, okay, maybe I have, but the, the, the concept is still, you know. Well, I out. feel like I feel like you've done a lot. Like running your own business, being self-employed, has a lot of traits that are desirable for yeah. employers as well. Totally, I mean, totally. self lots of discipline required to do what you do and. Yeah, and a, and a wider knowledge base as well. And, and well, maybe it's about how you present what W92 badge is. Uh, you know, maybe yeah. you should say, um, 
I, I I ran a YouTube channel for a year. You say I was the CEO of W92 Badge Inc. Or you know, I mean, I know you haven't incorporated, but that sort of thing. I think I think basically the way you present. Well, yeah, I've, been, I, I've been running you know, my own design company for the last. You know, oh, that's true too. 15 right. Fifteen years, anyway. You know, you know, I, yeah. I haven't been employed by somebody for for yeah, fifteen odd years. So it's uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. I think it depends on the kind of job that you're trying to go for as well. Like yeah. for let's use like let's use Erin as an example. Whenever she applied at Twitch, I'm sure the qualifications of what she'd done on YouTube and Twitch already were desirable traits for the job she was applying for, you know? So I think if any of us try to get a job in the gaming industry, we can use this experience as, right. as you know, resume fodder. Yeah. Yep, yep. I think going back to the original question, it's it's your parents want something right. that you can build a a, <laughs> a a a life off of and, and have an income. And if you if you're not making an income, well, then they want you to get a real job. And if you are, you know, wildly successful, making twenty grand a month, then they're not going to be that worried, are they? Yeah, I think the the closest thing to to like to what the question is is asking is my older sister who works in a creative field too, does art, and has been struggling to really get the message out there so that people will watch and view. And she wants an internet audience too. I don't think she resents what I do, but I think she probably, I mean, even if I was in her situation, you know, it's frustrating that, you know, I'm over here making video games and she's making like classic art and like amazing portraits and putting in tons of work. And not getting the traction, I think that's frustration on any anyone would have that frustration if they were, yeah. you know, as they're as they're working on you know internet stuff, right? Uh, so I don't know. it's probably the closest thing, but it's still not exactly what the question asked. Yeah, Pyro, you're you have the next question. So this one comes from Dragonflight, who says, "Hello, podcrackers and possible guests, Argus, me." Hi. If you were to be analyzed by anybody, celebrity, mancracker, or other YouTubers, who would it be and why? Weird. But <laughs> let's let's discuss it. No, I don't well, want to be cannibalized by anybody. And if someone's going to eat me, I don't give a fuck who they are. It ha for me, there's only one answer. Uh, and that, John Sienna? <laughs> no! Yeah, Sienna? <laughs> no. Shia LaBeouf. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Uh -huh. oh, oh, that's a good one. He might actually do it, too. Who knows? Who knows? The booth. Um, <laughs> no one wants to. No one even wants to like touch this one. They're like, you know, uh, yeah, I don't, just know. don't like, want I to be cannibalized. Like That's just out like of the question. You have to be some celebrity, like I have a crush on or something. Because you, <laughs> well, you might as well, this, like, this, this is called vor, right? Isn't the correct term for this? I, don't know. I guess so. But I, uh, I assume mm. vor is more like eating eaten live and whole. Uh, where this is like they're just gonna kill bit you bit. and, like, and cook you and, my... and and eat you. Uh, will I be you. dead? Yeah, what I assume you'd be dead and then roasted and seasoned oh, yeah. and eaten alive. Yeah, yeah. fetish and what you fantasize about being eaten alive. It doesn't really matter, like if you're already dead, then does it? Right. If, if you're dead, you don't really care about <laughs> things anymore. Well, there was some German guy who cut the knob off somebody and then they sat there while he ate it. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> The, the knob, the doorknob, yeah. fry it on the fry it in the, in the pan, and then. Ah, okay, moving on. The next question. <laughs> <clears throat> Before I throw up, Arcus. Dear podcrackers and possible guests, that's Pyro. That's you, Arcus as well. I know, but I don't. Mom. If all of the minecrackers <laughs> would participate in a cooking show like Master Chef, what dish would you cook, and who do you think would win? Uh, a question by Peter. Which is, I presume, Dutch. Peter. Well, normally, like a show like Master Chef, you're given like a set of ingredients, and then you make a dish with that. Like you know, everyone must make beef Wellington, and whoever makes yeah, the best but beef then you say it's like Master Chef. It's not. Oh, okay. Chef, it's Chef. not exactly Master Master Chef. You know, it's the new Master Chef. Okay, the, the, crack crack. Chef the crack chef. <laughs> crack chef. Crack chef. Still cooks better. <laughs> crack um, chef, where we put crack and everything. <laughs> I think I would win. I don't know what I'd cook. This is but, soup uh, with crack cocaine. <laughs> if I can cook spaghetti bolognese, I'll win. I'd, I just make uh, craft macaroni and cheese. I think I'd win. I'll make, I'll make cereal. <laughs> I'll have the best cereal to milk ratio ever. I'd order a Domino's and stick it in the oven for 10 minutes. Or Postmates. 
Jesus He's still loose. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I know Anders will not. I tell you what, um, I know uh, Anders will not win. I saw him put ketchup on his spaghetti, and uh, ah! after that, I know that the man has no taste buds. That matter. Wow. No, that's just yeah. Out of everyone in Minecraft, who do you think cooks the best? Can I'm we, biased. Probably no. good. <laughs> I, I haven't experienced. I, I I feel it's wrong for someone to judge someone by why they put ketchup on their spaghetti. I do it too. No, I, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Argus, I think <laughs> no, okay. you just no, okay. has entered into the the same ranks as as Arcus. I mean, as that's as, a European. As Anderson. <laughs> Next, you're gonna tell us you put ketchup on steak. Oh God! Don't say you no. do that. And mayonnaise on chips. Hey, ketchup on eggs. I think that's weird. The mayonnaise on fries thing. Yeah. I don't. I don't know why. Well, it's a yeah. European thing, right? It's a Dutch thing. We drown them in that. Uh, um, it's I. Right, yeah, European right. thing in general, isn't it? Yeah, Belgium, Flanders. Yeah, they're, they're strange people. What can we say? You know? But I mean, uh, who knows? I mean, the thing is, we haven't all sat there and cooked dinner for each other. Yeah. Right. We should do that. We should do that. Like have an entire week dedicated to cooking each other meals. How many dads do you think there would be at the end of the week? I used to think whenever we would go to these packs and have houses that we would that that we at least have one meal at home. Fantasize about that. I yeah, I did. I thought it would be cool, um, but it never happens. So I remember in London we just got a whole lot of pizza one night. Oh, that was such shitty pizza too. That mm. place we were in in London was like. <laughs> It felt like we were in the fucking ghetto, man. Like across the street, we could, we probably could have bought the crack for our crack cereal. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't a really bad part either. It wasn't. Was it? it was no. West London, was it? It was Mitchum. But it was. It was South, wasn't it? Yeah, south was. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Um, I mean, two. Was quite bad. Stereotypically, right. London. Now, it felt. Yeah. 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 It wasn't bad. There's, there's worse places. Baj misses the massage chair to this day. Oh, that's so good. I still talk about that. We drove past the house the other day, actually. Really? Did you? Yeah. Huh. Did you? Did you knock on the door and ask if you could sit in the massage chair for five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I was looking for places for us to stay for Pax East, one of the places had one of those, those that same exact chair. Oh. Oh, stay here. That chair will hurt you. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a thing. It's like uh, people who rent out homes. Like, no, they're like, <laughs> put a massage chair and it'll uh, it'll up your star rating. <laughs> I mean, you know, also the reviews on that the house we stayed in. That's one of the most things mentioned. Oh, the massage chair is just amazing. Like, think of how many people. Like, do you think someone yeah, sat in that so naked gross. or something? I was, I was, I'm sure I, I did. That whole house looked like their people. People had fucked everywhere. <laughs> and then Milby, Milby rubbed a piece of bread on the couch <laughs> and ate it. Oh, just to prove a point to me, he rubbed it on the floor too. It's the grossest thing. I'll never forget it, man. I'll be on my deathbed and people will be like, "What's the grossest thing you've seen in your 140 years?" And I'll be like, "There was this." Wow, you're gonna live a long Milby, time. And he rubbed bread on the floor and couch and ate it. Sex couch. What was it? We, we were convinced that people were frozen completely for me. Face yeah, you're frozen. You, you know, you're me. No, you're you're frozen. Good, you're frozen. I'll I'll try and make good facial expressions as well as mine. <laughs> good, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've lost him. Oh man, he said. Well, his last words. This <laughs> is frozen for me. <laughs> Put that in this uh, Don't that be hilarious. Uh, we know his last words are that Milby is gross. <laughs> Milby, he <laughs> said he lived for a hundred and whatever years. Oh gosh, and then he dies. He just dies in the middle. And oh, his webcam's gone completely. Oh, oh he's, he's, back. Back. he's back. He's back. What the fuck just happened? So you much died. One hundred and forty years. Good. <laughs> I, what? What? It's a good thing you said your last words. Oh, um. Oh well, yeah. It'd be about the Welsh man eating the bread. That that was all. That was Welsh weird. Man. What the hell just happened? Your you your Zoom took a fart. Okay. All right. Well, I'm back. Welcome back. Me. Welcome back. And uh, I think just really in time to end. I don't think we have anything else to say. Uh, thanks so All much. Right. For- <laughs> Shut <it> bye. <laughs> thanks so much for watching the po- listening to the podcast or watching, depending on what you did. 
Uh, you can subscribe on iTunes or YouTube. Uh, you can find links to both of those places, mindcracklp.com slash podcast. You can also submit your questions. Please send us more questions, if you would, mindcracklp.com slash podcast. If you submit a question that we've already answered before, though, uh, you will be banned uh, from every Mindcracker's Twitch and YouTube account. <laughs> Uh, I'm ridiculed. Christ. Yeah, and uh, and publicly <laughs> tweeted. No, <laughs> you know, you know, it's an empty threat because that we would be way too organized for something. Yeah, like that. yeah, we don't have that set up. <laughs> uh, and oh, that is the end of this podcast. Bye-bye. Bye bye. 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 Minus.